In this video, we're going to be making virtual holiday cards. There are some that some students have done. So, of course, you can be creative with this and do all kinds of different things. And you can just stay on the brushes page. All this was done just on that brushes page using the marker tool and the fill tool. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Paint 3D. So, go to your window and look under P for Paint 3D. Click on that and click New. Now I'm going to resize this so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> All right, now um, you can keep the canvas the way it is, but if you would like to reshape your canvas, resize your canvas, if you're doing a tree, you may want it to be more vertical, so you could click on Canvas, bring, <clears throat> bring the sides in, and bring the top up to make it a little more vertically oriented. And, okay, so then we're gonna go to the 2D Shapes page and I'm gonna do a tree. So I'm gonna use my triangle shape, click on the triangle, click on the canvas and use the corner to drag the shape out until it's the, si the size you want it. You can move it while you have the blinky rectangle around it, you can still move it and reshape it. When it's the way you want, you click the check. At this point, you can't move it, but if you wanted to start over, you could click undo and do another one. Okay, um, to make the trunk of the tree, we're gonna use the square. And what we really want is a rectangle so we can turn this square into a rectangle and make it the right size and move it down here where we want it. It's kind of going off the page, but that's okay. And click the check. All right. Now um, you could stay on this page and decorate your tree with different um, shapes up for your ornaments. Um, I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna actually go back, go to the brushes page next. So I'm gonna click brushes up here and I'm gonna use the marker tool and I'm gonna click black for this. You could use a different color if you want. And I am going to draw some lines. These are actually going to be strands of light, lights for my tree. You could do garland too. You may wanna make it a little thicker and another color. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna um, use the fill tool, which is the bucket, and I'm gonna fill in my tree and my background. So I'm gonna click a green for my tree. We're learning about complementary colors. So I'm making my tree green and my background red. Those are complementary colors. And then um, the trunk of the tree, I'm just gonna make it black, but you could make it brown if you wanted to. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is make my lights. So I'm gonna use the marker tool and I am going to make it a little thicker. And I'm just gonna pick different colors and I'm gonna do these little dots that look like lights along my, along my strand there. <clears throat> Sorry, the purple. Okay, <clears throat> so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually create some snow in the background. So I am going to pick white. I'm gonna keep my marker tool, maybe make this a little thicker and just do some dots. You could do your snow a different way if you wanted. And then I'm gonna put um, snow on the ground too. So I am going to draw a, 
in a curvy snowy line that's line here and then I'm gonna um, use the fill tool to fill this in all these shapes down here okay now I'm gonna go back to the 2d shapes page and use um, some of these shapes to create ornaments so I've got the circle and I'm gonna slide it in Oh, I wanted to show you this. So on the brushes page, an, an easy way to do ornaments is to use the marker and make it thicker and just do dots. So you could make your ornaments like that. That would be pretty easy, right? But if you wanted to have some different shapes, you can go to the 2D shapes page and use these shapes. Okay, now I think that line is a little thick for my ornament, so I'm gonna bring this thickness down. And um, if you want more than one of a shape, it works best to use the stamp tool because you don't have to resize it every time, so you can stamp and drag it, and you can stamp it as many times as you want. This I'm only gonna do two of these because I wanna do a different shape. Um, so lots of shapes to choose from here, lots of different stars. Okay. All right. You could put a star up top if you wanted as well. Okay. Back to the brushes page because I want to fill my um, ornaments in now. So again, that was the fill tool that I used to fill in those shapes. All right, so one more thing that you can do if you'd like is add text to your card. So you just click on text we want to choose the 2D text, so you're going to click on this T on the left. You can um, pick a font. If you want to do some kind of fancy font, you can. Um, you can change the size of your letters. Um, and then you click to add a text box. Okay, and then you can write your holiday message. Oops, so I'm gonna... all right, you leave it to where you want it. All right, so um, when you get your card finished, you can save it as an image. So to save it as an image, you will go to menu, save as, click image, the picture with the mountains, and name yours, um, holiday card or whatever you want to name it, tree. <laughs> um, I have a lot of them, so I have to put numbers next to it. And then you click save. All right. Then you can um, email it. So you can go to your email, click new mail. I need to move this where you can see too. And so you can click, um, well, you can put whoever you want to send it to, put their email address, you add a subject, you can click insert files and it will pull up all of your pictures. So just find the tree that you want to send or the, the holiday card that you want to send, click on it, click open and it will add that picture to your email. So when you have the address and the subject in there and you've uploaded your um, holiday card, um, you click send and you can send it to all of your family, your friends, your teachers. And um, one more thing that you can do if you'd like is um, if you have a color printer, you can print these out too. So you just would go to menu and print. 
And then um, you could also print this out and actually give it as a um, holiday card or present.